what does it look like when I open my door? It's day four, we're still working on slowing down the exit and I'm going to talk a little bit, or show you a little bit really, about how to create um, a different response to the one you're currently getting when you open your door. This is going to help you enormously, not just when you go out on your walks, but generally when you open doors anyway, so that your dogs don't rush out rush around the garden chasing things or even worse if you open the the front door that opens onto the street rush out maybe um pull you over or if there's a dog walking past bark and growl at the dog so this is great not just for slowing down your ex exit and helping your dogs to be calm around leaving but it's also showing them that a door opening doesn't necessarily mean they're going out through it so we're going to create a different association very simply by showing them that when the door opens they're not necessarily going through it okay thank you this is my little pot of magic um, all that's in there is my dog's daily food allowance, so the kibble that they get every day anyway, and I feed throughout the day. Um, I have these little pots all over the house, so they're wherever I need them, and I can reward behaviour I like. Um, so training opportunities everywhere, these little pots are. Um, so this is the one I keep by the front door, ready to use to train my dogs a different association or the association I want them to have with the door opening rather than the one that they may currently have which could be rushing out of it as soon as it opens. I've got my pot of kibble here ready and all I'm going to do is start sending my dogs in a direction away from the door before I even start to open it. So I'm going to send Kitty that way and I'm going to send Coco that way. So they're both going away from the door. So Kitty's going that way, Coco's going that way. And I'll repeat this. Kitty's going that way, Coco's going that way. And I'll repeat this several times on a daily basis. That's all you need to do. And then we can move on to the next step. Now we're ready to start opening the door because we practiced over the previous few days sending our dogs in the opposite direction to the door itself. So they've got into that habit of moving away from the door where we want them to go, chasing the food you're throwing away from the doorway. So what I'm going to do now is throw some food, open the door, throw the food, and close the door away. Open the door, throw the food, and close the door again. So you'll see that the dogs are now starting to associate the door opening with some food going in the opposite direction. They're not worried about the door being open at all. So next I'm going to show you what having the door open starts to look like. I'll play this game next. You can see neither of them are too worried about the door being open at all. And they're not going to go out there. So eventually you get this. <laughs> and this is calm. And then you can start to ask, sit. Yes, good girl. So now I'm introducing calmness around the door being open. Any questions, post them on the thread.